Uh, the member from uh, London West. Uh, thank you very much, Speaker. Speaker, I support this motion because in my 11 years as an MPP, I have seen too many Londoners who have been failed by the gaps in our mental health system. Every day, we see the consequences of not providing universal coverage for mental health care services. We see it in overwhelmed ERs, in rising demands on emergency services, in our classrooms. We see it in unnecessary suffering and sometimes suicide. Community-based mental health services are underfunded and simply cannot meet the demand. In London, CMHA Thames Valley is facing a $2.6 million deficit this year, which has led to staff layoffs and longer waits. The agency is seeing more people seeking mental health services, people whose needs are more acute because they have gone so long without. Many do not have work benefits and can't afford to pay $200 a session for a private therapist. Those with benefits will get partial coverage for maybe Maybe six sessions. There are two London agencies that provide sub sub subsidized counselling only because of the generosity of the United Way. They can't serve the rising number of people who walk through their doors. Daya Counselling and Family Service Thames Valley told me that only 15 to 20 per cent of their clients are able to pay the regular rate. The rest must wait for subsidy, which can take anywhere from six to seven months to a year or more. The consequences are especially dire for children and youth when early intervention is the most critical. Teachers are reporting more violence in classrooms, often because students are not getting the community mental health supports they urgently need. Parents are surrendering their kids to the CAS, desperately hoping their kids will get into treatment. No Londoner speaker, no Ontarian should have to wait for vital health care services or be forced to pay out of pocket. Mental health care is health care.